much. When all this is over, you will think that the fellow this morning talking about Dante was my twin brother. Um, I didn't get the memo that we could, um, we could use recorded music, um, so here I am. Take it in again. Well, it's probably a pretty good thing because I have blues and jazz, and at least blues is a very sad and mournful uh, type of music, and I'm very sad and mournful because once this is over, I'll probably never be asked to speak here again. Um, <laughs> well, it's not going to be a formal lecture. I'm no uh, musicologist, and I'm certainly not that newfangled thing called an ethnomusicologist, which I don't really know what that is. But I want to sh show in this, uh, by, by looking at what we simply call blues and jazz, that uh, there is no strict genre um, for these two types of music. Uh, they can take in everything from ballads to work songs, silly songs, songs about death, spirituals, dirty songs, and love songs. Um, it's not the sort of uh, uh, thing that uh, th these are, these are not, uh, blues and jazz do not spe specify uh, certain kinds of music that you can pin down and look at under, under a microscope. Uh, finally, uh, the, the, the unity that they have is the unity of where they come from. Uh, they come from the Southland, and I want to make a special point of that by ending this little concert lecture with uh, Louis Armstrong, great southerner, um, signature song called When It's Sleepy Time Down South. That'll be my, my very last tune. Um, well, anyway, if, if, just to start off, blues. If you, if you Google blues or get an article on them or read a book, uh, you'll find something like this right at the outset uh, that uh, it's music that develops in the South, especially in New Orleans in the, uh, in the late 19th, very early 20th century. It's somber and sad, usually played in the key of E. Even though I will be playing almost entirely in the key of A because I can't sing that high anymore. Um, uh, Twelve bars, um, I'll, I'll give you an example of what I mean by that, and almost entirely the tonic of, uh, of the three chord song, the subdominant, the dominant seventh, and you usually bend the seventh. So you have very somber. One kind favor, key of A. One kind favor, I'll ask of you. One kind favor, I'll ask of you. Yes, look. One kind favor, I'll ask of you. See that my grave is kept clean. There are two white horses following me. Two white horses following me, bend the seventh. Two white horses following me, take me to my burying ground. Sad and mournful. Indeed, that's what you get when you look at uh, what blues is in a, in a textbook on ethnomusicology. Then you got this baby. This is a blues. Well, you got you one woman. Boys, you better get you five. You know, this three might quit you, and the other two might die. I got a Monday, Monday woman, she treats me right. I got a Tuesday woman, she just wants me all night. I got a Wednesday, Wednesday woman, buy me my whiskey and beer. I got a Thursday woman, she'd raise all holy hell if she ever caught me here. Got a Friday, Friday woman. She 
don't let me sleep Now what you know about that I got a girl for every day in the week <laughs> Now you Now you might have noticed at least two things in that song one it does not follow the standard you know three chord you know dominant subdominant dominant in the seventh it's got some key changes there just change the keys change it again you also probably noticed that that old fellow is not sad <laughs> not the least bit sad but yet it's the blues you know, it's, it's, it's called the blues it's titled the blues it's called I've got a gal for every day in the week blues um, <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, then you'll read, um, if you keep on reading, that uh, these tunes were collected by W.C. Handy and later by Alan Lomax. Uh, the collecting of these old songs is a good, mostly good, but it's got its downside to it. Um, collect, put a label on it, pin it down to sell it. So they they keep it alive, the music's not lost, but it's also to make, to make a profit on it, which the two men <laughs> made a mighty profit on it, as did later uh, ro rock and roll singers and folk singers and many others who simply stole the old music lock, stock, and barrel. There was one fellow from the folk movement whom I, whom I liked a lot uh, uh, named Tom Rush, and he, um, he told on Bob Dylan he, he, he recorded a song on one of his albums called Orphan's Blues, uh, which is a great song. And then he said, Bob Dylan really liked this because he used three quarters of it on the Ballad of Hollis Brown. <laughs> so, so it's good that it was saved, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very sad bluesy uh, fact of American music history that uh, the, the, old, uh, the, the old artists uh, from the Delta, New Orleans, other parts of the South uh, were completely ripped ripped off and, and others made made a lot a lot of money. The other thing is that it, it, it made the music companies, Alan you might have touched on this, I didn't get your whole lecture, um, I was trying to tune up, and um, but the, everything had to be a type. I have, some of you know, I have family in the music business, heavily into the music business, and uh, they're always like, what kind of music is this? And I don't know, you know, <laughs> songs we like, songs we wrote, songs, songs we like. But you, you have to type everything. Um, uh, the, the, uh, uh, this, this, this is really a great story. I saw a clip again of, of Bob Dylan sit right when he was breaking big and he's sitting at a table with mics all over the place and reporters, at least 100 reporters out there. And they, <laughs> one of them asks the question, says, now of all these new folk singers, how many of them are protest singers. And, and Dylan's sitting there smoking and, and, and <laughs> what? <laughs> of all the folk singers, how many are protest singers? And Dylan looks back at him, says, 137. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And they were big enough to play Vegas. They chartered planes with the Smothers Brothers. They, they, they made a lot of money. And Ray told me that uh, they were living in the village. And somebody came to them and said, look, there's this young folk singer named Bob Dylan. Well, what kind of name is that? Well, it's really interesting. Well, it's never yeah. Of story. Right. And uh, he's going out on tour because he's going to make an album. And can he spend the night with you in your apartment? And, and, and Ray said, <laughs> that's great. That's, that's, that's great, Tom. 
But there, there is something to um, this insistence that the blues is a type of music and that's sad and mournful. We just, I just gave you a so Why in the world would you want to sing a song simply about getting buried? There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing redemptive at the end of it. Um, there's nothing hopeful at the end of it. It ends with, you know, uh, have you ever heard that coffin sound? Have you ever heard that coffin sound? You know, uh, as they lower me into the ground. And bang, songs, songs over. Uh, but there is something to that, and I, th I think that, uh, that that insistence upon sad and mournful music, uh, we, we, we celebrate um, our anguish and our mourning, uh, it, 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 and, and I'm not overdoing it, is the, uh, 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 Faulkner's comment, uh, Emily McBrien mentioned it in her wonderful lecture. Uh, Faulkner said in his Nobel Prize speech that uh, all good writing uh, has to um, have the strength to weep over universal bones. Um, all good writers have to have the strength to do that. Faulkner did. And the other one, uh, maybe even more so than Faulkner, was uh, William Gil Gilmore Sims. Um, if you read uh, Yamasee, you know, he, he just makes you weep that uh, Native American life is going to vanish. Whoever's fault it is, whatever the reasons, it's not going to be around much longer. And it's a very sad and mournful thing. You've got to go down to those levels or else your joy and your happiness, such as the fellow who has a girl for every day in the week, which we all laughed and had a good time listening to, um, is, uh, is silly. It's, uh, you know, when, 19, when I was a child, around 1956, 1957, uh, music largely was, uh, some of you may know this song, Itsy Bitsy, Teeny Weeny, Yellow Polka Dot, Bikini. That was a big hit. Another was um, uh, rock, rock Around the Clock, Rock, 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 Around the Clock, Gonna Rock, 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 Around the Clock, Gonna Rock, Gonna Rock, went on and on, and then Ooh Ee, Ooh Ah Ah, Ting Tang, Walla Walla Bing Bang, I can't believe you know that. Um, <laughs> which my older sister would play, and uh, then my, until my father started stomping around the house cussing, and uh, <laughs> and it would come to an end. And then 1958, and, and I was bowled over by this, a, a group that Tom just mentioned, uh, three Stanford drinking buddies, recorded an old North Carolina murder ballad. They didn't even tell the whole story; they simply had impressions of it. They didn't tell the story, it was just impressions. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. He said, this time tomorrow, reckon where I'll be, down in some lonesome valley, hanging from a white oak tree. And they had, they had strong, it was, it was very, very, very commercialized folk music, but they had beautiful voices, especially one of them. I, I think had the best voice in the whole folk music, folk, folk movement. But I remember, I was stunned by this. I was sitting listening to this uh, uh, awful music, um, one, thinking this is what popular music is, and then all of a sudden I heard Tom Dooley by the Kingston Trio. And, and to this day I can recall uh, the, the, you, you know, singing about somebody who's going to be hung the next day, not even knowing the story of it, um, and, and profoundly moved by it, and I think I've been affected by it uh, uh, since then. Um, hang down your head, Tom Dooley, Kingston Trio, around 57, 58, something like that. Um, so there is something uh, to this uh, sadness, and here is the best of them all, at least uh, the one I know the best. Um, every night when the sun goes in, every night when the sun goes in then the seventh every night when the sun goes in I hang down my head in mournful cry true love don't weep, true love don't moan, true love don't weep, don't mourn for me, 
true love don't weep Don't mourn for me Just take me on down To Marble Town dream would come wish to my lord my train would come wish to my lord my train Every night Where the sun goes in Every night When the sun goes in Every night When the sun goes in Um, I always get a kick whenever I, I hear one of the people in the folk movement, the late 50s through the early 70s, uh, even though by that time the Beatles had pretty much wiped the folk movement off uh, the map. But, uh, you know, listen to Judy Collins, Joan Baez, Mary of Peter, Peter Paul and Mary, <laughs> when they, they get to one line they, and they moan and they're swaying and they're carrying on and they've got 10,000 people out there and they're making $40,000 a concert. and uh, that's nothing compared to what they make now, or what acts make now. And they always say, take me on down to Mobile Town. They don't even know what they're singing about. <laughs> what, is the, what, is the, what is the line, take me on down to Marble Town? What's Marble Town? Sure. The graveyard, yeah. It's the graveyard. That's my, she just wants to die. <laughs> She's so sad she wants to die. Um, so it, uh, they, they miss the whole point of the song. They're swaying and collecting a lot of money, but they, uh, they don't know what they're singing about. Um, also, uh, here's, another, here's another one. I have to look at the lyrics because um, I don't remember it. This is a blues song, but it's not called a blues song. It's called Nashville or Country. Most of you have heard it. It has it, everything that a blues song needs, but it's not called a blues song. Very simple, very mournful. You hear that lonesome whippoorwill sounds too blue to fly. The midnight train is winding Winding low, I'm so lonesome I could cry. I've never seen a night so long when time goes crawling by. The moon just went behind the cloud to hide face and cry Did you ever see a robin weep when leaves begin to die It means he's lost his will to live I'm so lonesome I could cry 
the silence of a falling star lights up a purple sky and as I wonder where you are I'm so Yeah, that's a sad one. That's that's a that's a tough tough song. I wish you could hear my son James sing it. It's a um, it's a it, it's got all the earmarks of a blues song. I said, well, no, that's a country song. It comes out of Nashville. It's done by the great 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 Hank Williams. If you've never heard him, please do it. Uh, but if you heard, which you can, you, uh, Ray Charles sing it. You say, that's a blues song. <laughs> That's a blues song. So again, there's this, this, it's, a, it's a very loose genre. It's, there's something vitally important with the standard understanding of the mournful, tragic. Um, you know, we need to take stock of that we are fallen creatures, as we've heard over and over again in these lectures, uh, that, uh, you know, the t two white horses following me, that uh, when death comes, it feels every bit as much as if we're being punished for sin. Um, and that needs to get there, or you can't have the, the great joy of, uh, of um, song in general, especially of some blues and, and, and jazz songs uh, that we hear. Um, and I've tried to play for you. Um, hang on, let me see, where am I? I'm sort of getting ahead of myself here. Well, uh, this um, this can even uh, this this insistence upon sadness can even get involved in a, a very hopeful uh, Christian spiritual. You all know it.
Well, it's Jesus' guidance Safely on As you guide me to Thy Canaan shore Always close to thee, Lord. close to uh, Thank you. Yeah, so, you know, even, even a spiritual can become a blues. Um, didn't stand or didn't follow this exact same chord pattern. One, because here in the low country, uh, I don't know how you do it, Alan, but... <laughs> Hands get uh, a little moist, and you miss you miss some notes. <laughs> I think it's the last time I've really done any major playing in the Low Country, except when my dad made me play Mule Skinner Blues for my grandfather, who was dressed in his linen, his straw hat. Kind of amazed at what his grandson was doing. Um, anyway, sorry about the errors. It's chalk it all up to the to the uh, to the weather. Now, I have no idea why this next song is a blues song. I can't explain it, but it is. It's a blues song. Um, it's, called, uh, it's called Original Talking Blues, and this is the one where um, you won't probably go running to the hills. It's blues. But if you want to get to heaven, let me tell you what to do. You got to grease your feet in a little mutton stew. You got to slide on out of the devil's hand. Who's over to the promised land? You take it easy. You go greasy. Again, I have no idea why this is a blues song like this. Well, I was down in the hen house, down on my knees, and I swore I heard a chicken sneeze. It was only the rooster, he was saying his prayers, he was thanking the Lord for the hens upstairs. <laughs> the old rooster praying, and the old hens are laying, and all the little pullets plucking away the only way they know how. Yeah, the rooster crow and the hen run around. If you want my fricassee, you gotta run me down. Well, I don't know why I should be working so hard when I got me a gal in the rich folks' yard. She kills chickens and sends me the feet. She thinks I'm working, I'm lying asleep. But I'm dreaming about her. It's like the guy in the second song, Her and Five Other Women. Some of these songs you can't play anymore. <laughs> well, a few years ago, it took me a wife, got a little bitty son. He's a proud of my life, and he rubs mashed potatoes in my hair. Slide string beans up my nose. This is, a, this is highly embarrassing. He says, You're my paw. Ain't you? <laughs> well, if you want to get to heaven, let me tell you what to do. You got to grease your feet in a little mutton stew. You got to slide on out of the devil's hand. Who's over to the promised land? You take it easy. Y'all go greasy. Woo! Um, a... I didn't think I could make it through that one. Um, <laughs> Well, well, you'll be happy to know we're moving on over into jazz, um, which uh, 
<laughs> which uh, I, I again I have no idea why that's a blues song don't ask me but it is it's called blues um, maybe nobody would listen to it unless it had uh, a classy name attached to it um, no that's a, that's a great old uh, mountain humorous song kind of like uh, you, you, you know Arkansas Traveler you know I was walking around and saw a man on a roof asking why he's on the roof and he said he's fixing it and anyway he goes on. Um, one of those, you know, Ar Ar Arkansas Traveler. It's a good song. Well, kind of. Um, <laughs> but, uh, it, you, know, you know, when it comes to jazz, uh, it, the, the, the uh, lines get even more blurred. Uh, Louis Armstrong and, and others who are, are said to be the, uh, the, um, the origins of, uh, of, of jazz in this country uh, say that, Ar Armstrong says that he, that he simply learned it when it was called levy camp music. Uh, from there, uh, sometimes it was called swing in the blues. Um, it, uh, j it, it's, uh, you know, when, when jazz really gets, uh, gets uh, filled with all kinds of fancy jazz chords, which I can't play, and, um, and there's a lot of Im improvisation, no matter how, I don't know if you've heard it, but one, say the guitar player just goes off on a tangent, and it just goes on and on and on, and the moment, at the right, very right moment, the piano player will just come in. Uh, my oldest son was in the jazz scene in, in Manhattan for about five years, and, and I watched him play. I said, how, how, do you, how do you know? You know when the other when the when the trumpets come in? How do you know when to? And, and, and they just I don't know. They just know it. I, I don't know how they do it. Um, but it still follows. I'm told um, that it still follows the same 12 bar pattern. It's just if, if if you can hear it, which I can't, um, it, it follows that same. So it's swinging the blues. This is another thing Louis Armstrong called it. It was first called jazz, J-A-S-S. -S. It then changed to jazz. Up north, when it moved up north, uh, when it really became what we would call jazzy, um, uh, it became the Chicago style. Um, and Louis Armstrong said, there's really ain't nothing new. Uh, it's just the same old thing, uh, only jazzed up, uh, swinging the blues. Uh, and of course, um, Armstrong uh, stayed with the Dixieland style of jazz, which I will attempt to play some of because I can't play the other kind. Um, I hope one of my boys would be back here, but they're coming there on the West Coast and they'd be able to help me out with that sort of stuff. But, uh, uh, but you know, it's, just, it's and, and, and it's music about place. That's never lost. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? Uh, Bourbon Street Blues, way down yonder in New Orleans. Um, Southerners sing about place. Uh, it, it's a, it's, it's a, 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 a mystery. Uh, that, uh, can you imagine? Um, do you know what it means uh, to miss Gary, Indiana? Um, it, not to put down Gary, and I'm, I'm stealing lines from a lecture that Don gave years ago, which I, which I loved. Um, do you uh, carry me back uh, to old Ohio? Uh, it just <laughs> don't, I don't mean to be sh chauvinistic, but it, it just doesn't work. Um, that's the only point I'm trying to make. I'm sure that those are wonderful places to live in. Glad I don't have to, but um, um, uh, and, and up into modern day, uh, I, I really won't include uh, K K Carolina on my mind. I, I, I'm just not gonna, that's not going to make it in my book. But certainly, uh, you walked across my heart like it was Texas. <laughs> you know, you walked across my heart like it was Oregon. Um, doesn't. <laughs> or New Jersey. Um, what's my next song? Oh yeah. But here's one, here's a jazz song. I'm known as it, but it's, the title is San Francisco Bay Blues. Blind Jesse Fuller, he was a one-man band. Uh, he had a pedal that played the, the, uh, the bass drum, and he had a foot that played the cymbals, and he had uh, he had a gu guitar and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a kazoo or a harmonica around his neck. He was quite an act. I caught him when I was about 10, 10 years old. <laughs>
I got the blues from my baby by the San Francisco Bay. Ocean liner took her so far away. Didn't mean to treat her so bad. The best gal I ever have had said goodbye and made me cry. It's only right down and die, and I ain't got a nickel, ain't got a lousy dime. Don't come back, think I'm gonna lose my mind. Never come back to stay. Spend a brand new day. Walking with my baby by the San Francisco Bay. Well, sitting down by my back door, wondering which way to go. Woman I'm so crazy about, she don't love me no more. Think I'll grab a freight train. Cause I'm feeling blue Right all the way to the end of the line I'm Thinking all about you And I live a while in another city Just about to go insane Sound like I heard my baby The way she used to call my name Now she ever come back to stay Spent a brand new day Walking with my baby by the San Francisco Bay Sorry, the, uh, it was the humidity again. Uh, those little goofs, Charleston weather. I can really play that well. I just didn't make it that time. Um, I've got a couple that are really very strange. I'm wondering which ones to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this one. Um, Another jazz. Shimmy like my sister Kate Shake it like a bowl of jelly on a plate Mama kept on asking Just last night she says How come all the boys is treating Kate so nice? I said, Mama It's understood Kate's the best shaker in the neighborhood I may be late but I'd be up to date If I could shimmy like my sister Kate if I could make it, break it like Kate, I wouldn't be home till way too late. Get myself about as high as a kite, you know I do it every night. And all the boys in the neighborhood, they all say cake and shake it mighty good. And when you're coming through them golden gates, don't bring no one. Coming through them golden gates Don't bring no one but Kate Boy, my dad would get upset when I'd be singing those songs when I should have been studying. Um, never, never quite understood it. Um, I, I don't know. I've got another crazy one. I could move right on to... to um, what, what shall I, 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 I want to end with a, a, a Louis Armstrong signature song, which will wrap this up. But I've got another really nutty one. Are you ready for another really nutty? I mean, you're not, you're not re really. Okay, this is a this is a murder ballad, but you'll smile the whole way through it. No, you will laugh the whole way through it. Most amazing thing in the world. It's got uh, it's about a fellow who just guns another fellow down, and uh, everybody's sad about it, and uh, you know he uh, he's mournful and he. 
well, it's got an eschatological ending um, that is quite interesting. But I will be thoroughly embarrassed while I play it, and you will smile the whole way through it at my expense. It's called, it's a, it's a murder ballad. Has a, it's, 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 it's got the, the, the nickname of the murderer, uh, Stagger Lee. His name is Richard Lee, and you'll find that out at the end of it. And that's usually a Stagger, S-T-A-G-G-E-R, Stack, S-T-A-C-K, apostrophe O, Stack O Lee. Uh, it's got all kinds of different versions. Nobody really knows how to spell Staggerly. It's a folk song. It's passed on by ear, and people write down what they, what they hear. But here's, uh, here's Staggerly. Oh, I missed it. Sweaty hands. Wilson Pickett had a good version of this back in the 60s. Down in the alley, heard an old dog bark. Staggerly and the belly the lion, shaking them in the dark. Lose your money, learn to lose. Well, old Staggerly said to Billy, I can't let you go with that. You done won my money. Had my Stetson hat. Lose your money, learn to lose. So old Staggerly goes running straight up the railroad track. He said, I ain't gonna kill you now. Don't be here when I get back. Lose your money, learn to lose. And Roberta said, Staggerly. What you doing up so late? What you doing hanging around with that loaded 38? See, I just smiling. Lose your money, learn to lose. Well, old Staggerly shot Billy. Shot him four or five times. You're smiling. Shot down that poor boy just to watch him die. Lose your money, learn to lose. And old Mrs. Lyons, she said, I don't believe it's so. You and Billy been friends such a very long time ago. Lose your money, learn to lose. Roberta said staggerly, you seem all out of breath. Could it that you? Been the cause of some poor boy's death. Lose your money, learn to lose. And Staggerly said, Roberta, don't the sky seem mean and gray? I believe to my soul this is going to be my judgment day. You're still smiling. Lose your money, learn to lose. So Staggerly goes on up to heaven And you see St. Peter there St. Peter say head back the other way I don't allow no gambling here Lose your money, learn to lose So Staggerly goes on down to see the devil He said get up on your shelf My name is Staggerly I'm gonna run this place myself Lose your money, learn to lose. So you can talk about your gambles. You ought to see old Richard Lee. Bet a thousand dollars, you get out on the three. Lose your money, learn to lose. Down in the alley, heard an old dog bark. Stagger Lee. Billy the Lions and shaking him in the dark. Lose your money, honey, learn to lose. Okay. Quitting time. All right. You all have been very patient with my craziness up here, but this is blues and this is jazz. And these are.
Southern songs. Here's the, uh, here's the closing number. You all are happy to hear that, those, those words. Um, um, Louis Armstrong's signature song. He would get so joyful playing this that he really socked it out. I'm going to try to play it very quietly, uh, as, it, I, as it should be, or at least this boy should sing it. Um, it's a, it's a, when it's sleepy time down south. Uh, it's a, it's, it's about being sleepy and uh, being very thankful where you are when it's sleepy time down south. So, pale moon shining on the fields below. Hang on, that's wrong. Pale moon rising on the field. Field. What am I doing? Pale. Oh, I, I'm starting. A, shoot, it's F sharp. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Pale moon shining on the fields below. Folks crooning song. Soft and low. Need not tell me, because I know it's sleepy time down south. Soft winds blowing through the pinewood tree. Folks down there, they live a life of ease. When the twilight brings that evening breeze, you know it's sleepy time. Steamboats on the river Coming and going Splashing the night away Hear those banjos ringing Hear the old folks singing They dance till the break of day Dear old Southland, with your dreamy song Takes me back where I know I belong Sorry Till I find heaven in my mammy's arm It's sleepy time Down in South, let me do that a little better Dear old Southland, with your dreamy song Takes me on back down to where I belong I'll find heaven in my mother's arm When it's sleepy time <laughs> Not gonna play it right, when it's sleepy time Very patient. Thank you, Clyde. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so it's uh, dear old Southland with its dreamy songs. Um, they, they, they come. It doesn't matter what they're labeled. Uh, they're Southern songs, and that's how we know them. Uh, you wouldn't ever believe, think that original talking blues comes from St. Louis or comes from uh, comes from Maine. Uh, you would you would you would know that that's a Southern song, and if it's called the blues, well, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, dear old Southland with three meat songs, thank you for your patience. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Time for supper.